And I'm not going to shell out my morals for fucking Donald Trump, God damn it. This is the military-industrial complex. This is the same crap happened with Hitler or the Soviets. I mean, you got a bunch of power and weapons, so you got to take over everywhere. They got it. They rolled Trump, and he didn't stand up at the moment of truth. Donald Trump shit his fucking pants at the fucking moment of truth and shit all over everybody. That's my first approximation. I'm not in a fucking cult for Donald Trump. Fuck him. Fuck his family. Fuck all these people. God fucking damn it, man. What the fuck? Is there nobody fucking pure in this goddamn fucking world? And the goddamn fucking liberal fascists censoring us everywhere the last two days. We did an emergency fucking 36-hour broadcast trying to stop this shit that could lead to World War III. And you fucking liberal pieces of fucking shit, you fucking assholes, fucking support this. Fuck you, you fucking goddamn degenerate fucks. And fucking Mueller and fucking Comey and fuck you. And now they're blaming it on the goddamn motherfucking rock. Fuck Trump and fuck these fucking people. I will tell Trump that you really betrayed your family and your name and everything you stood for with this horse manure. And now the globalists have got Trump by his huevos. Well, you know what the globalists told me? You better roll over and take your kids. The globalists told me we're going to kill you. The globalists told me we're going to sue you. But you know what? They're a bunch of scum. I didn't roll over. And it's not because I'm the biggest, baddest guy in town. It's because I realized bowing down to scum like that's the death of me and my family. And, you know, I thought of Trump as a bigger man than me. But you know what, Trump? Alex Emmerich Jones is bigger than you. Because when the push came to shove, you put your tail between your legs and you crapped your pants. And doesn't mean I hate your guts, but let me tell you, you ever call me again, I'm going to tell you I'm ashamed of you. And I just look at you and what you've done, you make me want to throw up. There's no video of President Trump sucking a ding-dong. And so what if there was? That's a lot better than World War III, Owen. I never sucked any ding-dongs. But I'll tell you, if they were going to blackmail me to start World War III about one, I'd say, hey, I sucked a ball, golf ball through a freaking garden hose. President Trump, and as good as he was, if he keeps down this road, He's as good as dead. I'm not saying I would hurt him. I'm saying he's a dead man. He's no longer alive. And Donald Trump is two inches from being dead to me. Forces questions the mission. Yeah, because he loves his freaking kids, man. I mean, I feel like I just had my best girlfriend break up with me. I'm the, and the left will make jokes, but this ain't funny, man. God, God. But they can break anybody. Fox News has it live, MSNBC. <laughs> If you just turn against Trump, things will be better. But he was doing good, and that what makes it so bad. Oh, and that's what makes it so bad. If he'd have been a piece of crap from the beginning, it would be so bad. But we made so many sacrifices, and now he's crapping all over us. It makes me sick. Is now underway. Well, Trump's now a fraud. So, yeah. Tonight, I want to speak so, with you done. about why we have taken... I check it. it you know, he's... I, he, what the hell, Owen? I don't know. I, I, I don't think he believes what he just said. I don't think for one second he believes that. How could well, he show me the that? proof, asshole. ...his own innocent people. Oh, the United States responded with 58 missile strikes that destroyed... He said Hillary's the founder of Al-Qaeda. Well, you're now the butt boy of Al-Qaeda, Trump. You now give them fluffer you know, services. I mean, I'm serious. I will not sell out the truth. I will not sell out who I am. So screw you. Oh, and I'm serious, man. This is BS. I'm really freaking pissed right now. Right now, I feel like filth. I feel like filth. I never feel like filth. I don't like feeling like filth. I've given up everything in my life to be a good person, and I did everything for this guy, and now he has sold us out what the hell, man? What should we be doing right now? Because I don't want the Democrats to win the midterms. I don't want to turn against Trump, but God almighty, he's going to start World War III. I, I just, is he my enemy is what I'm saying. I, I just, I cannot stand this crap. 
but I just have to be honest with listeners. I, uh, I'm not trying to be dramatic. I, I'm really scared for my family. And, uh, you know, I wanted to believe that Trump was going to be the right thing. And obviously nobody's perfect, but man, this is, this is painful. This is a fraud. We know the West funded Al Qaeda and ISIS. We know they funded these false flags and, you know, to see Mattis looking like Emperor Palpatine up there and then to see all of it. I'm just so sick of this, this world domination crap. When if we were just good people and built a planet, we could have the stars. It's, it's, it pisses me off. I mean, we've got unlimited potential if we just stop this. Nobody could fault you for giving Trump the benefit of the doubt. Nobody could fault you for not having supported him right up to the end. To me, this is the end. You know, by being snookered twice, first last year in April 2017 with the false flag attack, and now this time. I mean, this is very, very serious, and I've lost total confidence in Trump, and our listeners should as well. We should not trust them. We should prepare that we're going to continue to go down and not believe the, the false promises of the Republican leadership or even Trump himself, who continues to be optimistic that he can still beat the... I don't know if he understands what it takes to drain the swamp, but he still thinks he can drain the swamp. I Actually, uh, shut up. No, no, oh, you're wrong. I agree with Trump now. I think we should turn Syria over to ISIS and uh, F you. President, uh, who, President Barack Trump? Well, I mean, you know, like Trump said, Hillary and Obama created ISIS. Well, but, 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 but Trump. It's Barack Trump. Trump uses him like a prophylactic. He just shoves ISIS up his big, dirty asshole. All right, I'm sorry. We got to TV, apologize to TV stations. I just cannot. This is such a big, nasty thing. I don't know how I go back on it. Well, that's what I'm saying. We just don't and have And it's footing. not like we're just doing this to be popular. I don't give a freaking... I, I cannot handle this, Owen. I'm ready to kick somebody's ass, man. This is bullshit. All right, delay that. Delay that right now. I should probably go off here. We should probably go finish up. We'll end this transmission. Midnight's coming up here. I, I, I can't be on air anymore. All right. Well, I will not be on the side of ISIS and the Saudi Arabia and the globalists. I am tired of this... Do we have to turn on Trump? Do we have to turn our backs on Trump just to just to try to save Trump at this point? I mean, no, is that I agree. The only I, I, you know, I think he takes us for granted, like you know, dog crap on his shoes. And I, I, again, I, I don't blame him. I mean, and here's the news, Trump. I'm not dog crap on shoes, brother. You are crap on my shoes. You son of a bitch. You will freaking get it. You get ready. And all Mattis and all those little chicken crap pieces of filth or can go to hell. You join radical Islam, F you to hell, you sons of bitches. I swear to God I'll get your ass. And we stood there for Trump. We stood up. I can't be a wimp. I'm not a coward. I don't sell out. I stand for what I believe in, Owen. Well, again. That's all I got. And, and you never they, changed They've it. attacked me so much. That's all I got is being real, brother. You freaking got one. That's what I'm telling you, leftists. I'm going to get your ass one way or another, and that's why they don't like us, because they know I'm going to freaking, I'm going to get your ass. And they think I'm a weirdo that I actually care about people. No, I'm not a devil-worshipping, big-ass pile of crap. I will get your ass.